Hey everyone and welcome to day two of 30 days of Sensei project and today we are going to talk about Istio, the service mesh project that allows you to connect your services much much easily. And in this video we are going to explain first of all in general what is service mesh, what is Istio, how it works, deep dive into the architecture of Istio and also demo Istio. Let's go! Istio is a service mesh project. And before we are going into the details, what is unique about Istio, I want you to know better what is a service mesh. So service mesh is a dedicated infrastructure layer for facilitating service to service communication by providing structured networking, security and observability. It means that if you have two services and we want them to communicate with one another, we need to take care for a lot of things. For example, the networking, we want to allow and block networking. We want to define security for them, maybe authentication, authorization. We want to observe and see exactly what was in the interactions between them and what happened when something fails. So all of that is the capabilities that Service Mesh allow us to bring pretty out of the box. And now when we are deploying Service Mesh, the communication between service to service becoming much, much easier. Now that we understand what is a service match, let's talk a little bit about what is Istio. And Istio is a service match project, as you may guess. And what it allows you is to make service to service communication much easily transparent and abstract to the users. So you can Define service service communication, you can enjoy the service mesh capabilities basically without doing any changes to your services and to your code. Make it really, really easily to deploy a very large scale application with a complex networking in them that needs to comply with a very strict security compliances. And Istio gives you all of this power without basically changing anything to your existing infrastructures and applications. How Istio works? So let's take a look about this simple example. We have two services, service A and B. Anytime a request comes into service A, it does it magic, send a request to service B, also does it magic, and then bring back the response. Very, very simple. The problem is that if we don't have Istio, any kind of service mesh, you need to take care of a lot of stuff between those services. Um, and let's say that we want the benefit of Istio. Let's say that we want to have, I don't know, authentication, authorization, and manage the traffic between the services. So when we deploy Istio, it's going to look a little bit different. First of all, we got the Istio control plane added. It's the brain behind Istio. It the ones control all the traffic, all the routing, all the security behind the scenes of Istio. Basically, what we do is that we define what we want our service mesh to behave like, and the Istio control plane will take care of that. On the other side, when we take a look on our services, a new component uh, was added to them called Envoy Proxy. And this is the proxy that handles all the traffic in and out from our services. Basically, the proxy takes the configuration from the Istio control plane and control the network in layer. So in here, what we can see is that a request flows into the proxy first, and then it passes it to service A, and when service A actually made a request to service B, it flows through the proxy too. So the proxies themselves actually manage all the traffic uh, by the definition we define the service mesh, there is no traffic that passed without the service mesh and the Istio brain allows it to. And this is how it works. It's a very simple architecture for every one of our deployment pod services. A new component controlled by Istio will be added and it will handle all the things that we want to abstract for our users. Let's take it one step deeper. So for every one of our services or pods being deployed, Istio is going to add a proxy called Envoy Proxy, which is a sidecar container. 
It will inject the sidecar container while the pod is being created. And this Envoy proxy actually takes care for everything on the traffic. It will be the dynamic service discovery, the log balancing, the TLS termination. If we want HTTP2 and gRPC proxies, SQL Breaker, Elf Checker, everything goes through this Envoy proxy. By the way, Envoy is also a CNCF project, and later in the series, we are going to talk about what is Envoy and how it works. More than that, beside the proxy itself run within our pod, uh, we do have the Istio control plane built by a few services which actually control the service discovery and the traffic management, the security, uh, secret and certificate management of the cluster. Everything runs in the Istio D or the Istio component uh, defined in here called uh, Pilot, Citadel, and Galley. So all of those run together and those make the proxy be defined. And based on what we define for the Envoy to do, this is how the traffic flows through our service mesh. What is the ROI of using Istio? So when we are talking about service mesh and Istio, we need to think what capabilities do we want to use. But basically, if we are using multiple capabilities, it's extremely hard to configure, integrate, and instrument all the tools and the things need to be configured in order to get Istio capabilities. Sometimes you do need to develop some of them on your own. So if you're using Istio unique capabilities and you do need them, doing that without Istio can be really, really hard. What are the alternatives for using Istio? You have a few options, let's list them. Run is write it on your own. Uh, you can write some of the things, some of the capabilities that Istio brings with you uh, using your own code and various tools. That's fine, it takes a lot of resources. The other thing is to use multiple products for it. You can instrument and integrate them together to get the Istio benefit, or you can use Istio. Uh, the main thing you need to understand from that is that you need to find what you want to get in day one, what you need to get in a year from day one, and then understand if, if it will be good for you to use Istio or some other tools. I want you to get to know two different open source projects. First one is Linkerd, another service mesh a project by the CNCF, and we are going to talk about it later in this project. The other one called Cilium, it's an eBPF based and networking solution that got a lot of capabilities. One of them is Service Mesh. And again, we are going to talk about it later in this project. If you want, you can compare them and understand which capabilities each one got and what is the benefit for you. Now let's move to the demo part. And what we are going to do in this demo is that we are going to deploy Istio and we are going to deploy a sample application called Bookinfo. And then we are going to deploy uh, another project called Kiali. And with Kiali, we are going to observe our networking in Istio. It's basically a dashboard project, really, really cool, that allows us to see our services and how they behave. And then we are going to inject some failures and see how our networking service mesh actually works accordingly. So let's start. Uh, we are going to deploy Istio using this Elm repo. And by the way, for everyone in the demo in this series, we have a Git repo. So I'm going to add the link uh, to my repo out to DevOps tools. Then you can go to Istio and run this demo on your own machine. So we are going to deploy Istio. Um, we are going to use Istio base and also Istio D. Let's install, let's deploy Kiali. Mm -mm -mm. Let's check this one, it should exist.
Okay. There you go. I just have to use without it, and then we will do the rollout. Cool. So while we're waiting for the rollout, we will go into the book info application. What is the book info application? It's a sample application we got from Istio, uh, which basically its architecture is that it got a Python service, product page, and then we got three versions of reviews, service v1, v2, v3. Um, and then we have a node server in here. It allows us basically to deploy some sample application and then see the value of Istio and Kiali. So what we are going to do is that, first of all, we are going to enable Istio injection, make sure that our default namespace will be managed by Istio. And then we are going to deploy the book info application. So we can see that it's created a few deployment, um, a few services. And if you are going to do get pods, we will see that the inert container is actually running. Uh, in a few seconds, we will see our application up and running. And from that point, I've skipped the starting process, but after two minutes, you should see that all of the pods from our book info application actually up and running. Uh, what we're going to do next is that we are going to check and make sure that it's up and running. We are going to use this command. And what it does, it basically queries the book store application over and over again. This is what we see in here. Okay, cool. So now we will continuously send the request. What we want to do on the other side is to connect and see how it looks on Kiali. So we will open a port forward to Kiali. Okay. And now we are going to use 8080. Okay. Cool. And now we got the Kiali dashboard available. So let me make it a little bit bigger. Uh, what we can see in here is that which namespace do we have? Okay. And then we can, by the way, we can fill them by namespace. We can go to application. We don't have any application defined. But if we are going into traffic, traffic graph, we can define the traffic of the namespace default. We can see any kind of traffic that we want. By the way, we can also change what do we see. And also version, application, service, any level that we want. And what we can see in here is that, by the way, let's click on each one. For each one of the components, uh, we are able to see let me minimize that a little bit. For every one of application, we are able to see, for example, in and out, how many requests it got, where, where it's deployed, um, all the traffic being sent. And if we click, we will switch to each one of those. By the way, we can you can see in here a percentage between um, traffic and also what are the communication. You can see that in a level of the full application in Istio and you can also go into a specific version and see how many requests per second, what is the uh, metrics around those, traffics, logs, by the way, from the pod themselves and also the audit logs, inbound metrics, outbound metrics and also some information from Envoy itself. So we definitely have, using Kiali, we got a lot of visibility uh, toward our services and applications. Uh, but what we want to do next is basically we want to deploy a failure that will allow us to understand what's going on in here. So inject faults to the rating service. I'm going to open a new one and I'm going to, oh, And I'm going to inject failures. So what happens is that now, let me show you how this YAML looks like. So what we have in here is that in the virtual service of Istio, we allow to add some failures from time to time using uh, um, the HTTP status. What this allows us to do is, is 
to check our services are behaving on lower environment to make sure that our application is fault tolerant. So you don't need to deploy that into production, but it's a really useful tools by SREs to, to make sure that the application behaves well. And also for developers, if they want to test their application against the other one, and they want to see how their application will behave on a specific failure. Um, but what we want to do next is basically to come in here and see how Kiali basically changed. And now we can see that before that, everything was green and healthy. And now when we click on the line, we can see that something is not healthy anymore. Um, why is that? We can see, first of all, that all the inbound are in error. Uh, we have a lot of failures around that in the cluster. By the way, we can see that in everything is fine. Out, we got 25% okay and 75% 70, uh, failures. Um, it may be because of the time frame, because some requests are going well, some requests are going wrong. Maybe it's a, in a smaller time frame it will go, oh, now it's updated to 100% out. And, and basically, with that in hand, we allow us to get much better visibility around Istio, around our services, around applications. So on top of everything we just discussed around how the benefits of service mesh, this is only the part of security of observability coming in in a really, really easy and handy way. Uh, that's for the demo. I really encourage you to go back into this repo and run this demo. And then you can do a lot of things on your own. You can add more services. You can change and play with the failures. You can deploy that, maybe a sample or development environment of your application and see how it behaves and basically inspect and learn much more about Istio and also about Kiali. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned a lot about Istio and service missions in general. And one other thing before we are done for today is we are going to take the Istio sticker to the second one. Uh, that's it. See you tomorrow. Bye.